Wouldn't that be funny if this was the intro? Hey! <laughs> uh, we're getting saucy tonight. Uh, Alright, so I got this. A new, I got a new gadget. Uh, this is a COVID internet <laughs> online. Uh, what is that? Compulsive buy. I was buying a dishwasher online and I saw this thing and it got me hook, line, and sinker. Uh, so I played around with it a little bit, but uh, so tonight uh, we're going to talk about a super easy sauce to make and uh, and it tastes a lot fancier than it than it really is to make. It's very simple. Um, so we're going to make chimichurri. Uh, I'll kind of show you the recipe that I use, but you can absolutely mix it up with whatever you want. Uh, but I'm going to add a glass of wine. This is a, it's a Pinot Noir. This looks really fancy. Maggie, mm -hmm. was this a fancy bottle? Oh yeah, it's definitely. Looks like it. Trader Joe's special. <laughs> all right. So, all right, so we got just real basic stuff. So you need like a fat, uh, this is avocado oil. I meant to get olive oil, that's what you need. Not avocado oil. Um, <laughs> some kind of vinegar, uh, lemon juice, you need garlic. Uh, parsley, salt, pepper. I like to have uh, red pepper flakes in it. Uh, let me find that olive oil real quick. Uh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, there it is. Okay. Alright, so we got our olive oil now. Um, Alright, so what you're gonna do, I've actually never used this red thing before, so this is the first time I'm using it. Uh, I like to start off. Well, you used it with our compost. Yeah, I did mix up the compost with it. Uh, we're, we're trying to compost with, with worms. Yes, We'll keep that you is posted. True. Yeah, I have to go down to the worm farm at some point. All right, All right so what I'm going to do is take my uh, olive oil. Um, really, what is that, about a half cup? Maybe I'll throw like about, I'm going to start off with about a fourth of a cup in there. And I've got my garlic. I always like to start, if I'm making a sauce, I always like to start with uh, really strong flavors in first so that you can evenly spread it out. So if you got like jalapenos, anything spicy, or like garlic, if you get a, if you get a big old bite of garlic, that'll kind of freak you out a little bit sometimes. So I always like to start my sauces by getting the strong flavors really well mixed up. I don't know if that's really a strategy or a technique or not. I just found that I don't like to get a really hot ass bite of salsa halfway through, so let's see how this goes. Right. It's not that bad. It feels a lot scarier than it actually is. Alright. Easy peasy. So you see that that garlic's all mixed up, pure pureed. Uh, so what you can do is, let's go salt and pepper in there now. I, I don't know how much this is. Let's call it like uh, Let's call it two teaspoons, maybe. I don't know. Um, you can always add more later. About the uh, same amount of fresh cracked pepper. Get that in there. And then, uh, so about however much oil you use. So right now I'm doing about, I got one bunch of, of parsley. I did a fourth of a cup of oil. So you basically want to uh, put another fourth a cup in there. So the ratio of like fat to acid is gonna be one to one. I like to split my acid between uh, a lemon juice and a vinegar for this recipe. So I'm gonna put, I mean, what would that come out to be like? Is that like an eighth of a cup? How does math work? It's probably but, more than an, okay. well, that was probably like a sixteenth. I don't know. All right, so about an eighth of a cup of the uh, lemon juice there. We'll go about like an eighth of a cup of the uh, vinegar. I always wonder, like, at what point do cups turn into tablespoons? Like, you know what I mean? Well, like, is one tablespoon like one thirty-second of a cup? Yeah. Have you ever thought about that? All right, so I still get the metric system and the yeah other system confused. Okay, so uh, we got this thing going again. Uh, again, you, so now I've got my acid in there. So I did one part. Uh, what is that? Red wine vinegar, one part, lemon juice, got my salt and pepper in there, and then about a fourth of a cup of the olive oil here. So, oh shit. 
So just kind of cover that up just a little bit because that shoots out apparently. There we go. So just kind of, I'm just pulsing that a little bit because I want the par I want the parsley to kind of retain its shape. God dang. They did not include this in the owner's manual. Okay, there's a, a speed one. I'm gonna try to, all right, there we go, okay. There's a big difference between speed one and speed two on this bad boy. All right, so let's get all that shits in there. So I'm gonna pull that out. Wash your hands for 20 seconds before doing this. <laughs> uh, all right, so looks like that thing I may go back to using my little ninja for this uh, for this recipe. This may not have been uh, the best tool for this job, but this shit's gonna taste good. I am very fairly certain of that. All right, so get all that out of there. I should actually have my hand off of the the fucking trigger. <laughs> I should probably have unplugged it. But uh, what are you gonna do? These are COVID times. <laughs> general idea I'll pull all the schmutz out of the thing right now and then uh, I think at this point we pretty much have our chimichurri now now uh, we've got a spoon oh damn that actually turned out pretty good um, so I may screw around with the blender a little bit more try to make the chunks more even but I mean damn that's a good chimichurri probably use just a little bit more salt um, it's a little acidic um, by nature it's a pretty acidic sauce but if you ever need to ah, here's a little trick for your sauces all right if you ever over salt it uh, vinegar helps take out um, over salting if you over vinegar or like over acid something obviously fat and uh, sweetness will be the thing to cut that so tip all right I think that this chimichurri is pretty good to go. Uh, this, this shit's actually pretty healthy as far as sauces go. Um, you put it on steak, you put it on like uh, little fried plantains, it's really good there. You put it on eggs, but I mean, it's a great all around, ton of killer nutrients in the parsley. So it's one of my favorite sauces because it's quick, easy, and relatively healthy as far as those things go. Thanks for getting sauced. <laughs>